to Switch Harrington for PhotoFocus, and I'd like to show you how to use Adobe Photoshop to work with a video file. To get Photoshop set up, just choose File, New, and this will bring up the new file dialog. Now, normally, you're used to seeing this set to things like paper, but you can click the preset menu and choose Film and Video. Once you've done that, there are useful presets for working with video. The two that you're most likely to use are HDTV 720p and HDTV 1080p for the two most common sizes of HD video. Don't worry about that second number yet, that's the frame rate, and we'll deal with that in just a second. I'll click OK, and it creates a new document. Now, you're going to want to go ahead and use the settings that match your file. If you remember the settings you used when you shot, then this is a piece of cake. If not, you can open up your file at the desktop level and check it out. So, for example, I can grab one of my clips here, and I'll just open this up with a viewing application like QuickTime. When I do that, I could press Command-I to see the info, and I note that this file is 23.98, so that's going to affect my settings. All right, let's switch back to Photoshop here. And one of the first things I'm going to do is change my workspace to the motion workspace. This brings up the video timeline and sets Photoshop up to actually work with video files. I'll now click the button labeled Create Video Timeline. If you don't see that, you might see frame animation, so just switch it to the correct choice and it will flip over. At this point, you can now set up the frame rate for your project. So just click the panel submenu in the upper right corner of that panel and you could choose Timeline Frame Rate. And in this case, I'm going to use the preset of 23.976 because I shot 24p on a video camera. While the number 24 is here, it's much more common to use 23.976 when dealing with video. The other likely frame rates you'll encounter are 25 and 29.97, and we've covered those on an earlier movie. Alright, that looks great. Let's click OK. And the document is now properly set up. These lines you see here are safe title guides, so any text I add should stay within that. Let's go ahead and add a video clip. I'll click the plus button and navigate to some footage. And using my simple file system here to browse, I could select a shot and click open. And Photoshop will add it into the timeline. Now, we'll cover more with timelines in the future, but you see that the clip does indeed come in. And there's my shot. If I want to adjust its duration, I can simply drag the handles and set a new duration. For example, I'm going to make this shot about 10 seconds long. There we go. Now, that's looking pretty good. And what I just want to do here is take advantage of a couple of adjustments. So I'll add a curves adjustment and click Auto. And that restores some contrast to the shot. And I'm going to apply a lookup table under Color Lookup. And I'll just use one of the film stock type presets here. Let's go with Codec. That looks nice. I'll just back it off a little bit. All right. At this point, Adobe Photoshop is set up to work with video. I've got everything I need here. You see the file plays. And we can continue to add and build on this timeline, but we'll cover that in a future lesson.